Hello, and welcome to Bad at Board Games. My name is Brad Lake, and I'm Bad at Board Games, so you don't have to be. Today, we're going to be talking about a Kickstarter SAS Rogue Regiment. Let's sneak around in World War II and try not to get caught or die. <laughs> so why do you want to stick around? At the end, I'll be talking about my value rating where I break out every pro pledge level and tell you what I think you're getting for the amount of money they're asking, including shipping. Most people don't talk about the shipping that's included. It is part of the price. <laughs> so let's take a look. What is SAS Rogue Regiment giving us today? Well, it's a kind of a hidden movement board game where you are the allies and trying to sneak through certain objectives and make your way, you know, complete the mission objective for that scenario. We have 126,000 backers, sorry, 126,428 dollars have been pledged. They have 1,355 backers. So respectable. Anything over $100,000 is, you know, it's doing well on a Kickstarter unless it's like some massive miniature game. <clears throat> so we have, you know, if you lie, if you're not into war, anything, this is a complete pass for you, right? I like this kind of stuff. The hidden movement thing is where I'm a little like, I don't know. I'm not huge into hidden movement. I'd rather just go, go and battle <laughs> or give me a Euro game. Um, <clears throat> kind of feel like hidden movement somewhere, somewhere in the middle. <laughs> So we are going to, if you look at the map, you got some cards with who your characters are. If you look down here at the bottom left of the screen, I'll try to put this in the middle. And you're going to work your way across the map. And as things happen, you're going to have to start taking risks and maybe making noise. But as you make noise, more and more things are going to come out. So it's like, do you start doing that three quarters of the way of the game or halfway? And then you just have to try to sprint. You know, knowing that there's going to be a bunch of stuff come out, you're going to do it right at the end so that no matter what happens, you, you can get out. So it, it has some, you know, like that, that's a good, if you're going to do stealth, that's, that's a nice way to do it. I think you, you're not completely locked into, you know, you, you have to be 100% stealthy, but just know that there's consequences when you're not. <clears throat> now, how they're going to do patrols back and forth and things like that. I'm not 100% sure, but you've got the rule book here if you want to take a look at it, which is nice. You know, like you can start to see, is the rule book garbage or is it just going to entice you more into this game? And then they've got, you know, quite a few stretch goals that they've unlocked, which are just, just cards. So don't get too excited about it. <laughs> they have a, dump, a bunker box, so they've printed the inside of your shipping box. Your player. <laughs> anyway. So some of, the, some of the stretch goals, I think, in these are like, these, these aren't, I don't know. To me, these aren't exciting. Now, this mission designer is kind of neat. So you could get this um, ability to, you know, make your own map. And people who like map building and things like that, that that's pretty slick. I know, I know some people who enjoy that and could really, really appreciate maybe just making maps more than playing the game, honestly. This is what you're getting for your base game. You've got nine modular boards. You've got, you know, the enemy jeeps and um, cars and uh, armored cars as well. And then you've got, okay, so they've got some spawn boards, dice. So, you know, you can kind of just see what you're getting. You're getting the plastic chits, the, the round tokens. You're getting small cards, not, not bigger ones. And then you're getting some, you know, small square chits, you know, for your patrols and your things you can hide behind and obstacles and things like that. That'll populate the board to kind of give you your scenario. So there's not, not a lot of money in manufacturing costs for that. It's not free, but it's, you know, at the same time, it is not that expensive. So for all this, what you're seeing here, it is going to cost $45. 45 pounds and which is about $56. So, and they're going to ship this anywhere in the world. Boy price. 
So that's the $45 pledge. And then let's see. They who dare. So the they who dare, when you want that, you're going to end up paying 65 pounds or $80 US. And you're going to get a couple more heroes. Um, looks like the French resistance. And then you're going to get a plane, an ally plane. And you're going to get some ally um, SAS berets there. And uh, five more missions. So it's not a lot more. Let's see, $80, so you $24 for that. So $24 for, let's see, one, two, car, two cards, 36 little cards. Yeah, they're really sticking to you on that. That's, that's an upsell. That's, they're making their they're profits right here. They're hoping that you go for this and, uh, and see what happens. <laughs> Um, so you, yeah, so we just talked about this. So your $45 pledge, you get the base game, you get a few characters. And then if you want to upgrade, I keep saying $45, they keep putting it that way, which I understand they're from England. Um, $56 for this one, $80 for this one. That's quite a hike up for that. And then a hundred dollars, you're going to get. Everything you have above, heavy metal expansion, Jaeger expansion, dice tower, and all appropriate stretch goals. So they don't talk about what the heavy metal expansion is. So anyway, this kind of is showing you moving things around and how to go and stab somebody in the neck. <laughs> don't joke about stabbing people in the neck. And then you got your people that are talking about it and da 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 da. Okay, and I'm scrolling faster than you guys want to watch. <clears throat> but let's go down here to shipping. Where's shipping? Shipping, shipping, shipping. Just for bigger levels. Fortunately, import laws, we do not ship to Russia. Likely. So, $10. So that's, that's pounds, $10. So, just in the UK, they're going to charge you 10 pounds. So you're, we're not in the UK. So if you're in the EU and US, you're going to get charged 20 pounds, which is about, depending on the, the rate, you know, what, $15? 15, 15 euros-ish for this game seems, seems a bit much. There's, there's definitely something with the Brexit and all that. They're shipping, I've noticed, when they're a UK-based game, I think... Um, Steamforge. I was like, their shipping is real. I don't know where they're. If, I don't know where they're making these, but it seems a bit excessive. So you're putting another fifteen dollars on this game that I would have said was like, ah, that's not so bad. So let's go and beat this thing up with value. Is it worth it? Let's get back to the summary page. Let's say here. So if you're interested in this. And the SAS Rogue Regiment, and you like the theme, and you think, yeah, this is pretty cool. So what do I think the value of this is? So at $56 plus, let's see, what was the shipping? $15. So 56 plus 15 is going to be, no, they said 20 for the US. Oh, shit. That's going to be like $25. Oh. So $25 plus, well, it says 55 right? So. $60, $80 for this base pledge. $80 for this. Ooh, no. No, I would not. I would not pay $80 for this. Um, I, just, I just wouldn't. So that, that means I'm not back. Yes. <laughs> so if you're going to pay $80 for this one box that doesn't have printed wooden meeples, things like that, they need to do a better job of, of sourcing their their games and their manufacturing. That's, I think this is way too much. I've gotten $80 games that are way more blinged out than this. So I'm going to get this a two. And then we're going to jump down to where they added $24 on top of it. So you've got $80 plus over $20 in shipping. So you're over $100 for this game. And they've given you a couple cards and a standee and like 
Oh. So if if the first one was a, a value from a, a one to a five, the first one, let's say, is a, I'm going to give it a, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a two and a half. I'll be nice. I'll give it a two and a half. This one is definitely a two or a one. These are ones. <laughs> this is a horrible deal. I think for what you're getting in this game, this is a horrible deal. I think it's way overpriced. They're definitely trying to sell you on something that I don't. Now, these games may, I don't know what they are on the secondhand market. I don't worry about resale value. But what I can tell you, and sometimes I do, but I don't resell games. But what I can tell you is for the pieces of cardboard that you're getting in this game, that is not worth it. So I'm going to, I'm just going to say it's a two for the base game, two out of five. Like this thing should cost somewhere in the $50 range and $10 shipping, not $20 shipping. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't recommend this from a value standpoint. Now, this may never go to retail. So, you know, that's that you're basically saying like, I want this. I'm interested in this because I won't be able to get it secondhand market, but you're not, you're not getting anything cheap. You know what? And I don't know if this would hold its value or not. So take a look at the game, take a look at the company, see if it's for you. Maybe you've already, you know, bought in these games and you love them. I'm not, like I said, I'm not really big into the stealth side of things. I'm interested in the, the theme and, you know, my son's like history and things like that. So that part I'm into, but for the price, I think there's other things out there that I will spend my money on. So was this helpful? Do you enjoy these? I might've been a little bit all over with the value because I just think the value was bad. The value was just bad. Anyway, comment down below. Tell me if you think I'm... If you agree with me, yay. If you think I'm full of it and you love this game and this is everything you wanted, I would like to know that too. And, and what is it about this that, that really attracts you, right? So no matter how you're playing, whether it's solo, with family or friends, enjoy whatever you're bringing to the table. Have a great night. <laughs>